Mayor, thank you for your kind words. I um, I remember the first time I met Mike Bryan. I had you know, seen his name and seen the newsletters, but we we were trying to find a location for a covered storage tank uh, so that we have adequate storage up here to the north of the city of Boston. And we had some drawings, and I had mentioned to Rep. Donato that, hey, we're going to be looking at putting this tank in and need about seven or eight acres of land up in the fells. So he said, well, well. <laughs> so I got, summoned, I got summoned to his office, his district office, on, on Salem Street in Medford, and I met Mr. Ryan. And we had the engineers that put the map, and they had all these swaths of woods that were going to become a tank. And, and Mike, I, don't, I thought he was, I, didn't, I thought he was a little crazy. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he, gave me, he gave me a lesson in artillery. I think he was sending me a message. <laughs> the fight was about to ensue. So he very calmly took his finger and said, why don't you put it right there, <laughs> right in the parking lot of the hospital? <laughs> well, after after many years of back and forth and, and up and down and around, uh, the MWRA purchased that seven acres of land from oh, wow. the developer uh, and is now constructing a $50 million covered storage tank, which when it is complete will be an upland meadow. It will be the first addition of open space to the fells uh, since it was created. And, and it is due in large part to the advocacy of Mike and the Friends of the Fells, and Rep. Donato and the others, mm -hmm. uh, who all deserve credit in it, and it really did help turn the tide. Uh, and, and when it's done, it's pretty ugly now, it's like making sausage, right? <laughs> don't worry about it. But when I take people on tours, and it, yeah, I'm with Laura behind there, and there's this big, like, hole in the ground, and, this, and I take people on tours and I say, you know, the environmental community loves this project. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? But we can't become partners on a number of things. And I, Mike is, has a way of sometimes understating things or persuasively convincing. He said, you know, Fred, the upper fells, um, the high pressure, uh, over the years, the, the, they've put all this graffiti all over the rocks. It wouldn't be a big deal. You think you'd get a crew to go up there and clean it off. So send my guys up there and, and a lady who's in charge of them. And, and, of course, anything to be in a nice, warm sun in the woods. Oh, no problem, Fred. Where it comes back, no problem. I get up there. You should have seen this operation. To get the truck and the hoses into the woods. It took and the raft. They built the raft. The raft. <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All because Mike and this little project. <laughs> and and um, we've been working on a lot of good things, uh, including the, the new dam standards, where if people didn't realize there were actually several dams around Spot Pond, the Fells, and asked Mike, hey, could you go up and take a look to mark the trees that they need to take down? Uh, what do you think? And he'd call back and say, well, you got to do it, you know. And, and, uh, and then, are there any of the bike people here? That's another whole story. In which Mike, Mike said, Fred, you know, you need to protect the quality of that spa pond, don't you? Well, you know what bikes do to the runoff? <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm in this pitch battle with these bikers. <laughs> the, the, the mountain bike people and uh, the great people and everything. But there's a certain place where luckily we kind of had a, a, a trump card in that we need to protect the water system. So there are parts of that area that they're, you know, they had put on their maps, and Mike pointed out that they had actually put on their maps so they could go over our dams and, and whatever. So um, that, that was, again, another partnership. But I think the most important thing is that the Fells is such an important asset. And I live a stone's throw from it. I spend a lot of time in the woods. And it is really, really important that there be people and individuals who are the keeper of the flame, to keep that going so that 100 years from now and 500 years from now and 1,000 years from now, that's there. And people like Mike Ryan are the best example of those folks. And the, the world in this area deserves a great um, debt of gratitude to you, my friends.